come with me to the studio to try and get some stuff done for this Christmas market. I'm doing uh, my first Christmas market in a while, in truly 10 days, and I don't have anything done. So here's me taking one more little piece to the studio to get fired. I was trying to find if I had anything, and I luckily I did. And I had some really fun stuff, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I always hate digging for work because I feel like I'm going to break something and it's probably not going to be mine. This baby was the first piece I've ever finished at this new studio and honestly I'm so proud of it. I think it's so nice. I also made a bunch of um, ashtrays. Okay, here's all my bisqueware. So all of this needs to get glazed today. I'm kind of inspired right now by my favorite mug by Debbie Carlos. Um, it just makes me so happy when I look at it. So I kind of just did a bunch of smiley face mugs this go around. In this section, I'm just trying to sort them into kind of like things so I can make a plan. I just, glazing, like, I don't know. I hate to glaze. It is just so overwhelming to me. I had initially planned to be here for one single hour because I had so much other work to do. And I ended up being at the studio for five hours just glazing it it is the bane of my ceramics existence to be honest with you the first step is just finding the glaze that you want to use and then also waxing the cups for or whatever you're making i guess for the places you don't want the glaze to stick um i'm trying to do like different types of smiley faces some with the classic little circle around and then some that are just like the face isn't glazed at some point this will make sense but it's not going to make sense yet because none of these pieces are done okay this is not one of those special effects cut to the chase two weeks later the pieces are done no i'm still hoping and praying they'll get finished so we're in this together I honestly, I love a smiley face. I think they're so cute. I started making ceramics in January of 2022, this year. Um, and I feel like I've come a long way. I'm, I'm starting to make stuff I'm excited about, which is a very good feeling. And I know I've said this in the past, but I really encourage people to check out community colleges or community studios to try and find a place to make some art at. Also, this was very hard to open, but look at it. I did it. I'm big and strong and powerful. In this little bit, I'm trying to sign all of my cups, which... Oh, wow. oh I'm talking. Beautiful. Anyway, um, I really want to get like a stamp or something. I've seen a lot of other ceramicists have this, and I think it just makes your work look so finished. This is giving kids I art. I have a lot to do, <laughs> but I'm in love with this. It's true, I do really love that. Okay, here I'm working on my egg ashtrays. I have some of them that fit um, lighters in and some of them that are just classic ashtrays. I've got to do a couple coats of um, underglaze and then they're ready to be glazed. Also, uh, being in Utah sucks because I miss weed so bad. Okay, then I had this piece that I kind of just want to make myself and the other day I wanted to eat a cheese board for dinner so badly and I didn't know anywhere to go so I kept googling cheese board near me and it kept sending me to grocery stores and then I would google cheese board on the menu near me and it still wouldn't tell me so if you live in Salt Lake City, Utah and you have a favorite cheese board in town, I really need to know because it's very, very, very important to me. And in terms of keeping with trying new stuff, as I'm, well, I feel like I'm not that new at ceramics anymore. Obviously, I'm new to doing YouTube, this, what you're watching right now, maybe. Um, to me, I love to listen to videos. So I'm like, I need to be talking, I need to be thinking, I need to be da 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 But let me know if you don't feel that way, if you'd rather me to shut up. I'm like, I need a microphone, I need to be making ASMR content. This is my true calling, cheese boards, ASMR. That's all I need in life. Well, I don't watch ASMR, but I think I could make it, honestly. People always tell me that. In 
in my opinion, an absolute huge benefit of working at any type of community studio is that you get to see what other people are making. The shark cup blew my mind. Also, there's this someone who keeps making these like pumpkins and I don't really understand how they're doing it. Okay, back to my eggs. I'm making eggs all day long. My Cosmic Sands moment for you guys. I love the green goo. I wish I could swim in it, to be honest with you. My pot will swim in it for me, I guess. These are just some little trinket dishes. I had a very big project in mind. It didn't really work out. So in this clip, do you notice something? Something horrific? Because I do. I look at this and I can only see. <sighs> at We'll all figure it out together at some point. Anyway, I like to clean my stuff in between glazes because I'm really, 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 really scared of um, contaminating one. And I feel like it's not as easy to do as I think it is, but let me tell you what, it scares me. At this moment, what color do you guess this is? It seems obvious, but it's blue. Glazes are so crazy. It's like crushed up glass and it's just a chemical reaction. It's not like paint. You can't like mix the colors and make a color. I feel like that's kind of hard for me to get around. Okay, back to the God forsaken eggs. Under glazes are so nice, but they take so many coats and I'm pretty impatient, and ceramics is not a good medium for fellow impatient people, but maybe it's teaching me patience, I don't know. I'll, I like to excuse any issue I have by saying I'm an Aries, so that's why I don't have patience, okay? No other reason, no personal problems, just that. At this moment, I wish I could insert a record scratch. I really wish I had brought something to drink, but I've been here for hours. I just touched the back of my head. Are you seeing this? Why did I leave that? Was that horrific to you guys? That was horrific to me. Anyway, at this point I cut out about four hours of me glazing, but hopefully all the pieces will get fired in time. Stay tuned, I guess. Also, I filled up almost a whole shelf. Isn't that kind of nuts? Anyway, see you guys again soon.